Christ yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, Alpha and Omega, all time belongs to him and all ages. To him be glory and power throughout every age and forever. Amen. This is the day when our Lord Jesus Christ passed from death to life. Throughout the world, Christians celebrate the awesome power of God. As we hear his word and proclaim all that God has done, we can be confident that we shall share with his victory over death and live with him forever. May the light of Christ rising in glory banish all darkness from our hearts and minds. The light of Christ, thanks be to God. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son, overcame the old order of sin and death, to make all things new in him. Grant that we, being dead to sin, and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise, honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter began to speak to those assembled in the house of Cornelius. I truly understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation everyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ, for he is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, in the beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John had announced how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did, both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree, but God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear, not to all the people, but to those who were chosen by God as witnesses wait and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. This is the word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St Paul to the Colossians. If you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on the things that are above, not on the things that are on earth, for you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ who is your life is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. This is the word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, 
Alleluia, Alleluia. God has proclaimed the just reward, life for all, Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Hear the Holy Gospel according to St John. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter, the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciple set out and ran towards the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings laying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there, and the cloth that had been placed on Jesus' head, not lying there with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who reached the tomb first also went in. He saw and believed, for as yet they did not understand the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. This is the Gospel of the Lord. I now invite you to renew your baptismal promises and I will give the responses as well as the questions uh, in order that you might follow. In baptism, God calls us out of darkness into his marvellous light. To follow Christ means dying to sin and rising to new life with him. I therefore ask you, do you reject the devil and all rebellion against God? I reject them. Do you renounce the deceit and corruption of evil? I renounce them. Do you repent of the sins that separate us from God and neighbour? I repent of them. Do you turn to Christ as Saviour? I turn to Christ. Do you submit to Christ as Lord? I submit to Christ. Do you come to Christ the way, the truth and the life? I come to Christ. So may Almighty God who has given you the desire to follow Christ give you the strength to continue in his way. Almighty God, we thank you for our fellowship in the household of faith, with all who have been baptised in your name. Keep each of us faithful to your, our baptism, and make us ready for that day, when the whole creation shall be made perfect, in your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. And so with one heart and one mind, let us pray to the Lord. As we celebrate this glorious feast of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, let us pray for life and light in our world. We pray for the church throughout the world, for June, Bishop of Flander, and for all God's people, that they may know the light of the risen Christ in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, in your mercy. For all who carry and bear suffering this day, for all who are afflicted with the coronavirus, for all key workers, for those who work on the front line of the NHS, for all who seek to bring light into dark situations, let us pray to the Lord, Lord in your mercy. for all who carry the burden of sickness, for those who have sent us their prayer requests and those who are named in our prayer lists, that they may know the healing touch of the risen Lord, Lord, in your mercy. For those who have died in the faith of Christ, 
for those we have known and loved, for the recently departed who are dear to us, and all who have died of coronavirus. We pray for those whose years mind falls at this time, and those who have inspired our journey of faith, but we no longer see. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, in your mercy. And so we unite these our prayers with those of the Blessed Virgin Mary, David and the whole communion of saints, as we commend ourselves and the whole of creation into the unfailing love and care of God. As to you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. May it become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. May it become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear friends, that this, my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his church. Lord, with great Easter joy, we offer you this sacrifice for which your church is reborn and nourished. Grant this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, it is our duty and our joy, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty Eternal Father, and on this day of our redemption, to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful work. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the power of death and hell, and deceived with men and women into the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise, and opened to them the gate of life eternal. And so, in the joy of this Passover, earth and heaven resound in gladness, with angels and archangels, and all the powers of creation, who join in your unending hymn of glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
Hear us, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Through him accept our sacrifice of praise and grant that by the power of your Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us his body and his blood. Who in the same night he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper he took the cup and when he had given gave, and gave you thanks he gave it to them saying drink this all of you for this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come in glory. Therefore, Father, remembering the saving death and resurrection of your Son, we offer to you in thanksgiving this bread and this cup, your gifts to us. And we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send your Holy Spirit upon all of us, who share in this bread and this cup, strengthen our faith, make us one, and welcome us and all your people into the glorious kingdom of your Son. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, and honour and glory are yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. As our Saviour Jesus Christ has taught us, with confidence we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. They were glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The peace of the risen Lord be always with you. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Lord, our hearts hunger for you. Give us this bread always. Alleluia, Christ, our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia.
Let us pray. God of life, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection have delivered him from the power of our enemy, grant us to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his risen life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God the Father, whose love Christ was raised from the dead, open to you who believe the gate of everlasting life. May God the Son, who in bursting from the grave has won a glorious victory, give you joy as you share the Easter faith. May God the Holy Spirit, who filled his disciples with the life of the risen Lord, empower you and fill you with Christ's peace. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you this Easter day and remain with you always. Joy to thee, O Queen of Heaven. Alleluia. He whom thou wast meet to bear, Alleluia, as he promised hath arisen. Alleluia, pour for us to God thy prayer. Alleluia, rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia, for the Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. O God, who by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, brought joy to the whole world, grant us with the prayers of his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in peace. Alleluia, alleluia.